As projects grow, number of files also grows. Developers iterate, add new assets, change the way things work, and after a few months of development, they often have projects cluttered with unused textures, material instances that are no longer assigned to any meshes, and other assets that take storage and make navigating in content browser harder and harder. We should be able to clean up that mess without asking our users to do it by hand. And if you have a good policy of storing source assets outside of the project, the risk of losing something important forever is pretty low. You may not have your favorite character asset in Unreal, but you should have a mesh file somewhere. For us, the key factor for determining whether the file is used or not is by checking reference count in Unreal. Unreal Engine has a pretty nice code that takes care of that, and it always can check if some file is used by another one. Such thing is counted as a reference. I have prepared four example files. Three of them are textures, including this cute cat, and one is a material instance. So if we want to check everything by hand, we have a nice visual tool by Unreal developers. We can pick this texture with my logo, right mouse button on it, and look for a reference viewer. In complex projects, opening this window can take up some time, but this is a small project and listing files is pretty quick. As you can see, there is a single material using our texture, and it is here in our content browser. But you have to keep in mind one thing. This is just a few of example files, and if I were going to remove all unused ones, this texture would stay, but this material would disappear because it's just an example asset and it's not used by any mesh at all. So if I go to reference viewer here, I do have this reference, but it's like, um, let's treat it as a back reference. So let me close that. And those two remaining files have no references. We can prove it by going to reference viewer. It shows only our texture and that's it. So now we're gonna create a few nodes and make our tool. Let's right mouse button in content browser, go to editor utilities. You should be already used to doing that. Editor utility blueprint. And once again, we are going with asset action utility because we are processing assets. I will call it um, remove unused assets. Maybe let's start with BP. All right, let's open it in the editor, dock it, and I have hidden left and right side. So let me pop it back on the screen and let's start with creating a custom event. I will call it remove unused assets. And as in previous examples, we're going to start by iterating over selected assets. So get selected assets. And then we need some nice for each loop. Let's connect array and to make sure that we know how many references there are for each of the assets, we need a node that is called find package references or an asset. And this node doesn't expect actual object, it expects asset path. So that's one thing that we will have to care about. And the other thing is that it has some parameter load assets to confirm. So that means that if we load assets when we are checking for references, we will be sure that we didn't skip any file that could have been skipped by this uh, implementation. There is also a nice explanation of what this function does. It uh, looks for both soft and hard references, and there isn't any better way of doing that. So we got to load assets to confirm. 
and now we need to get this asset path and it is a full path not a display name so in the past we were using this array element and then searching for get display name but this time we need something called get path name for loaded asset and here it is if you are not using this context sensitive uh, view and if you are looking for other functions you may find lots of things like get full name um, but most of them will not be handy for you because for example this get full name would probably get you a correct result but it needs some in asset data so doing get path name for loaded asset is the fastest way uh, and I mean using the least number of nodes so here we connect loop body then return a value and we will get a list of references and that may be very useful for you because you may want not to remove those you may want to list all the references you may want to export it to some excel file maybe to get latest version in your version control system uh, you would for example select punch of materials get references to all textures used by them and make sure they are up to date so it can be pretty handy but for us the only thing we need is number of those references and in programming usually we have some function called length that returns number of elements in the array so let's try there is something like length available also when context sensitive is turned on so great let's use it and now we want to make sure that this number is zero we could actually make a check equal to zero or maybe something like equal or less so let's try less equal zero is the default value so we don't have to modify it and now we need a branch so if there is zero references we are going to remove this asset if there is more we're not gonna do anything so let's get back to our array element and we should search for something like remove or like delete there are a bunch of remove functions but they are not really related to deleting assets but when we start searching for delete there is way less results and delete loaded asset seems to do exactly what we need so let's get this node maybe let's also add another node here to keep it nice and organized and and let's connect it to this true condition in our branch and the last thing that would be nice to have would be a print information in the log that we have removed this asset that should be very handy for the users oh and i skipped no i didn't skip this connection to condition that's fine so i would print uh, what we have removed but i would only print by the file name not the full path so let's get display name and we got a string but if we print only names of assets that, that may not be very meaningful to the user if you say that you messed up something and send this log to another programmer you may have many similar logs so we should add some commentary we can do it by concatenating strings and there is function for it called append it has to go from the string section and it lets us append two strings together but I would like my commentary to be at the very beginning so let me change this a b order and here we will say removed unused asset amazing now the last thing to do is to print that with print string node let's connect this here and our graph isn't too big but it is surely functional the last thing before executing it is to make sure that this event has call in editor enabled because i have forgotten to do it at the very beginning and now we can compile save and make a test run 
as I said at the beginning, this material may get removed. So let's select only textures, right mouse button, scripted asset actions, removed unused. And we are left only with those textures that are in use. This material, oh yeah, it just needed some refresh. And hence the icon that got lost. And if we select those both, just to make a test run, we can try it again. And they can get both removed. Why did that happen? So the explanation is pretty simple. Material wasn't used by anything else. Yes, the material did use other assets like the texture, but it wasn't used anywhere else. So it was removed. It was removed as first. So after the removal, our texture has lost the reference. And it was second in the row. So when we, when our tool was checking if it's in use or not, it also removed it. So the important lesson is to be careful what you select. That's one thing. And the other lesson is not to do those things iteratively. If you are removing assets, select them and check them all at once and remove them. But don't run this function ever again. Because when you do it, you will be gradually removing assets that may be references to other assets. And at some point, you may remove a bit too much. In the next video, um, I will show you how to use metadata to mark some assets that may have zero references, but shouldn't be removed. So that may fix an issue for many of you. But for now, we only made the basic tool and I hope it will be very useful for you.